This is Daniel Batten from the Northern New England Conference of Seventh-day Adventists illustrating how to do a jewel backup at the end of the month. The backup data will come up automatically as the next step. However, I would also point out that any time you can go to file and copy to disk to also do a backup. However, there's one other factor in backing up. The most ideal method that I choose for doing backups is to get a flash drive like what you see here. These are, it's about the size of a finger and these days the, even the smallest ones usually have four times as much data as, as this one. So I would highly encourage you to get a flash drive if you do not already have one. However, there's one set of information that we need to do as I plug this into the computer. It, as I plug the flash drive in, it will show up as a particular drive letter. And we see here it showed up as drive J, if you look at the top of the blue bar here. So we know in order to back up data, we've got to be sure that we're copying the disk to drive J. So we go to Maintenance and to Properties, and then we go to the General tab, and we got to just double check this, this um, copy to disk path. And indeed, it, it appears that it's Drive J already. We'll make sure it is. And then we click OK here. And now we can go to Backup Data. It says Insert a Blank Disk in Drive J. If your database is too large to fit on one disk, you will be asked to insert more disks. I click OK, and here it did it. The, na the name of the file is White Memorial SDA Church 2009 05 Full Backup. So I click OK, and that backup is complete. Now, if we needed to look to be sure that that file is really there on the flash drive we could go to my computer and then we could come to drive J which um, we simply open this file up and let's take a look 2009-05 white memorial sample SDA church dot JLB so we know that it backed up perfectly fine and that's how you do it.